Hi friends, welcome back to ARC Tutorials. We are bringing you the top interview question and answer series and today we will be covering about Cucumber Automation Testing. This is part one of the series where we will bring you in detail about all the questions or top interview questions that are asked on Cucumber Framework. Before we get started, I request you friends to please kindly subscribe to my channel to keep supporting and encouraging me. Also, if you have any doubts, you need any help, please drop them in the comment section. I will be happy to help you for free. Thank you so much. Let's get started. So the first question is usually interview starts with asking explain Cucumber shortly or you can you would be asked what do you mean? What do you understand of Cucumber or what is Cucumber framework? Cucumber is a tool that is based on behavior de de driven development that is also called BDD methodology. The main aim of the behavior driven development framework is to make various projects such as business analysts, quality assurance developers, etc. understand the application without deep diving into the technical aspects. You can also say that it would help us to write simpler uh, test scripts and we also write end-to-end -end test cases easily based with, without much technical knowledge or digging deep into the code level. What language is used by Cucumber? Cucumber framework uses Gherkin as the language that is used in Cucumber. It is simple English representation of the application behavior. For example, click login to application, enter the username, etc. So it's a simple English representation. It's a simple English representation and Gherkin language uses several methodology to describe the behavior of applications and such as scenarios and also some of the things like uh, outlining feature scenario outline given when then um, based on uh, simple uh, you can think of it like you write simple and easy way uh, of writing a test script in simple English language all right we'll see that in detail in just a bit but to start with this is what you should know if when you are asked about about details of cucumber or gherkin the next question is what do what do you what do you mean by feature files feature files provides a high level of description of an application under test the first line of the feature file must always start with the keyword feature that's how cucumber will know that it's a feature file following the description of the application under test a feature file may include multiple scenarios within the same file a feature file has the extension of dot feature the next question is what are the various keywords that are used in cucumber for writing a scenario so when you are trying to write a test scenario that you want to test the first thing we'll do is we'll provide four keywords which are given when then end so if you see these are plain english so we'll say given this particular user logged in when user clicks on a particular link then user is navigated to dashboard and finally he will see the report so something like that we'll write a scenario i'll show you that examples in the tutorials that are coming upcoming but to start with understand that there are four keywords given when then and end what is the purpose of scenario outline in cucumber so scenario outline is a way of parameterizing of scenarios this is ideally used when the same scenario needs to be executed for multiple data sets however the uh, test steps remain the same same so think of it like this that whenever you have the same requirement of running with different data sets we can write scenario outline and we can pass multiple uh, we can pass multiple data sets that can be run with the same test steps scenario outline must be followed by the keyword examples so in the examples we will list down the set of data that we want this application to run the next question is what programming language is used by cucumber 
Cucumber tool provides support for multiple programming languages like Java, .NET, Ruby, and of late, you can also use it with React and Angular. It can be integrated with multiple tools such as Selenium and Capybara. What is the purpose of step, step definition file in Cucumber? So a step definition file is where actually we'll write each of the underlining code for each of the steps. So a step definition file in Cucumber is used to segregate the feature files from the underlining code. Each step of the feature file can be mapped to a corresponding method on the defini step definition file. So think of it like this. In feature file, we'll write steps. And like, for example, user clicks on a link. And in the actual step definition, we will, we will implement that particular step. I'll show you all of this in practical in the next tutorial, but for now, stay with me. Understand the theory, understand the basics. We will cover the details of practical hands-on as well. While feature files are written in an easily understandable language like Gherkin, step definitions are written in programming languages like Java or Ruby or .NET. What are the major advantages of Cucumber Framework? Advantages of Cucumber Framework are it's an open source tool, so you can easily download it, implement for your team without extra licenses. It's a plain text representation, makes it easier for non-technical people to start understanding the scenarios and implementing it. This helps in bridging the gap between business analysts and developers. Automation test suites can be easily developed using Cucumber tool. It is easy to integrate, easy to maintain, and also easy for business analysts also to work with the developers. The next question is, provide an example of feature file. So I'm bringing you some examples, but this is just a start. Uh, I will bring you more hands-on tutorials, but for now, this is a simple example of how you can write a feature file. So let's get started. Uh, the first one we'll do is, so think of it like this. We want to log into the application under test, right? So this is this is how we write our feature files. I told you there will be four keywords. So the first one is given when then. That that is how the the layout of the application should flow. Given an application, given open the Chrome browser and launch the application. The next keyword is when. Given when then and finally then validate it. So this is an example of how we can write our uh, feature file. I'll cover that in more details in coming tutorials. You can refer to this for if you want to prepare for an interview. The next question is what is the purpose of behavioral driven development? B BDD is a methodology where it's easy to understand the functionality without without digging deep into the technical code or aspect of it. But we can also do it easily by writing the, our feature files in simple plain text or English representation of simple. Now, uh, the, the next thing is the main aim of BDD development is to make various projects such as roles of business analyst, quality, under the application without digging deep into technical. So like I said, anybody uh, would be able to easily write the test scripts without, without the actual technical knowledge. So that makes it powerful tool to use in your projects. What is the limit for the maximum number of scenarios that can be included in the feature file? A feature file can contain a maximum of 10 scenarios but the, but the number can vary from project to project and from organization to organization. So this is what we have mentioned here is uh, ideal um, scenarios that we are telling. It's not too big, it's not too small, but an ideal number. But again, if your project requires a different setup, it may be, but if you are asked, please say that you have implemented up to 10 scenarios. That looks more realistic. 
The next question is what is the use of background keyword in Cucumber? So background keyword is used to group multiple given statements into a single group. This is generally used when the same set of given statements are repeated in each scenario. What symbol is used for parameterization in Cucumber? So to pass parameters, we'll use something called examples through which we will pass the data. So that is how we do. And by the, the way to differentiate is by passing the, by separating out the values using the pipe operator. What is the purpose of examples keyword in Cucumber? So examples is used to pass or parameterize the values. Like if you want to execute certain steps with the same, with different data sets, we will use uh, examples and we will pass the values directly. And in the previous question, we saw that it is, the separation is done based using the pipe operator. What is a file extension of a feature file? So this, these questions are generally asked to see that you have a really hands-on person. Have you worked on it or not? So when you say you have done it, you should say, yes, we have written feature files and the extension is dot feature. All right, so let's go to the next question. Provide an example of step, step definition in your projects that you have used. So here is the good uh, way. Um, how do you provide uh, different examples is by mentioning uh, real time some of your applications that you have used or some of the use cases. So in this case, we are doing it by saying, given open Chrome browser and launch the application. And then we are implementing a method called public void brow open browser. And then we are calling the Chrome driver and then window.maximize and then driver.get facebook.com. So that's how we are opening that. So I will cover all of this in some hands-on tutorials in the next coming sessions. But for now, just understand how to write a step definition. What is the purpose of the Cucumber options tag? So Cucumber options tag is used to provide a link between the feature files and the step definition files. Each step of the feature file is mapped to a corresponding method on the step definition file. So that is how uh, we will link between step definition and feature files. All right, when is Cucumber used in real time? So Cucumber tool is used to write the acceptance criteria of uh, the application. So this is done purely based on uh, like you can write end-to-end -end scripts that's used. It can also run in your build pipelines. So that way it's easy and you know that it would be easily manageable and you know that business analysts or functional people can also test it end-to-end. -end. The next question is explain the purpose of keywords that are used for writing a scenario. So it's, a, I told you, we have covered this multiple times in the tutorial. So that series is given when and then keywords. These are the important keywords that are used uh, why, for building the, your feature file or writing a scenario. So given keyword is used to specify a precondition for the scenario. When keyword is used to specify an operation that is being performed. And finally, then is used, the keyword is used to tell what is the expected output or expected behavior of the app application. All right, this is a very important question. Make sure you go through it well and prepare it. So the next question is, what is the name of the plugin that is used to integrate Eclipse with Cucumber? So the, the, the plugin that we have used in the past is called Cucumber natural plugin. So that allows you to easy integration with Eclipse uh, editor. That brings us to the last question of the part series. I hope these are useful. I know uh, some of this will require you to cover hands on and I will bring you definitely the uh, tutorials on hands on examples of how do you write these tests and how to uh, 
how to run gherkin how to run cucumber setup and all that but that's for uh, later but for this tu tutorial series is something to bring you live uh, example and to bring you the understanding of what cucumber is what feature files are and how do you go about it i hope this is useful to you please do subscribe to my channel to keep getting latest updates and so that you don't miss any of the tutorials that i share thank you so much for joining i'll see you in the next episodes thank you so much take care